GoPro is because of you. Yes! Oh, oh. The anxiety. <laughs> Woo! Can't believe it. The GoPro Million Dollar Challenge. This year I've got an idea and a plan that I think might get chosen for the final video. But before we get to that, let me explain what it is exactly. Now, the GoPro Million Dollar Challenge has been something that GoPro has been doing for quite a few years now. And the premise is really simple. You just need to buy their new camera, of course, and then you need to shoot a clip with it. Doesn't matter what the clip is, you can literally do anything. And if your clip gets chosen for this edit, then you win an equal share of $1 million. And I know that sounds super great, but the problem is it's really competitive. This prize money normally comes to from about $15,000 to $20,000 per person. I think sometimes it's been even more than that. So people are putting in effort to get picked for this thing. Ever since this has come out, I've really, really wanted to get my dog into this video. For whatever reason, I just really want him to be in there. What I wanted to do was make the GoPro become the perspective of a tennis ball. Now the reason for this is because Ali is obsessed with tennis balls. I mean, I literally made a short film about it. It's really cute. If you want to watch it, I'll put it in the description below. But anyways, back to this. So I want to get the shot where the GoPro becomes a tennis ball. It's thrown in some cool, beautiful landscape, maybe a beach or something. And Ali catches it in his mouth. So the ball is flying like this and then Ali catches it like this. I just think it'll be a really unique and creative use of the GoPro and a way that I haven't seen someone use a pet for one of these shots before. I went onto Amazon and I found this guy. It's also a dog toy, but it should be big enough on the inside to fit a GoPro if my measurements are correct. So some of you watching will already know what this is. It's basically the same as the bigger normal Hero 11 GoPro, but it's a mini version. So it doesn't have a screen on the front or the back. It doesn't have a GPS and it doesn't have a battery that you can change out. So you might be wondering, why would you want this? Well, it actually delivers the same image quality as the normal Hero 11, but as you can see, it is way smaller. Our first image here from inside the ball and there's a lot of orange here which is a bit of a problem but it actually kind of looks quite cool because it shows that you're literally inside a ball actually rolling the ball around like this looks pretty cool as you can see I quite like that you can actually see the orange in there and I think if you had a dog playing with this this would look kind of hilarious especially if it was like rolling around in grass and then you picked it up or something. Now when I made this I was in France and Oli is in South Africa so obviously the next step was to go to South Africa. I come halfway around the world from France where it's zero degrees to Cape Town where it's supposed to be summer and this is what I get. This is not what I was promised. I have the orange ball with me. I haven't actually tested it yet. So I'm gonna throw around the ball in this rain and see if it works at all and what kind of shots we get. So this is what we've got so far. GoPro money inside the ball and I've just wedged these pieces of white foam behind here to hold it in place. And then I've also attached this lanyard. And the point of that is to hopefully get the ball to go straight rather than spin around. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but now is the time to try. Let's go look at the footage and see if we got anything. It looked like it went pretty straight, so I'm hoping that with the GoPro stabilization there should be something usable. It's pretty shaky. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, let's see how good you can be. So it was right around this point when I turned off the camera that I thought that this idea might not work at all and I was really disappointed. As you can see the shots are really shaky and not very smooth at all. It's not the majestic flowy shot that I envisioned. 
and it made me realize that I need a bit of a redesign. So I enlisted the help of my dad, who is slowly becoming an expert in 3D modeling and animation. And I basically asked him to make a 3D printable ball that would be as small as possible, but still be able to control and hold the GoPro Hero 11 Mini. And this is what he came up with, and it's pretty amazing. With the ball assembled, it was finally time to test it out with Ollie. So something I didn't actually anticipate was right in the beginning, Ollie did not want to catch this thing. I think it might have had something to do with the weight of it, but I basically just needed to show him that this was a ball and he could play with it. Ready, go. Also, just for fun, I decided to test out the horizon leveling on the GoPro 11 by attaching it on a stick and it actually looks pretty cool. And then I removed the GoPro entirely to make it a lot lighter and then he seemed to be happy to catch it. As soon as I was starting to get a bit more confident, my girlfriend pointed out a very good question. That was pretty straight. Eh? Yeah? That was pretty straight? Yes. And she was completely right. Turns out that the rest of my time on this project would be spent trying to get the ball to go straight. And from these attempts on the first day, you'll see that this is not what I was looking for. So my first ingenious idea was to attach a string to the back of the ball to maybe try and hope that if I hold the string, the ball will go straight. In theory, this idea wasn't too bad, but of course, Oli was very skeptical in the beginning. He eventually did get a bit used to it and caught it a few times, but it still didn't quite reach what I was looking for in the shot. So the next progression in the design was to try and add fins to the ball to try and get it to go straight without it being tethered. So I cut up these fins from some foam and taped them to the ball. And this was definitely the most successful attempt yet. And this is where I really started to get some decent looking shots. <laughs> Also, I accidentally got this shot where Ali was just carrying the ball around in his mouth and it was facing forward and I just think it's pretty hilarious to see him walk here and you can see the other dogs and everything. So, it's definitely a unique angle from a GoPro. If you're wondering how to get your favorite beach empty all to yourself, the answer is come at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> pretty good, he's ready. So here's the final design I settled on. It's basically these three fins just to make sure it goes straight and the GoPro and the ball. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty effective if Ollie catches it. The thing is it's quite big so it makes him less or more hesitant to try and catch it. So that's the only issue we might come across now. Let's give it a go. Again, I played around a bit by attaching the GoPro to a stick and I actually quite like these shots, it's basically like a dog selfie. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the shots I got and I'm going to submit them for the GoPro Million Dollar Challenge and see what happens. If you're interested in buying one of the new GoPros, I've got a link to the latest pricing in the description below. And if you want to make one of these GoPro balls for yourself, I've included instructions on how to download the file in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.